Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys have had an amazing week. It's here Friday in Australia. Thursday probably still over in the US, but let's analyze what happened over the evening session in the US markets. First of all, let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, we did get a retest gap and we are currently retesting. Uh, we did also have a red candle gapping down just uh, three days ago and we are currently retesting. So we could potentially roll back down here. It's just going to be a wait and see at the moment. We are most, for the most part, just traveling sideways. We do have a lot of support here and not a whole lot to do with the SPY. It was quite choppy. If you take a look at the five minute here, very start of the day, we kind of just had a quick little sell off and then a beautiful little morning star reversal pattern. And then we just slowly grinded back up to the open. So not a lot, not a whole lot happening there, guys. Let's take a look at the E minis. The E minis not doing a whole great deal either. Obviously, in the afternoon session, we are sitting a little bit, a little bit higher than than the previous close, but for the most part, we are still just kind of just flagging here at this point. We need to see if we are going to break higher. I do think we will go higher. Um, I just think we need to little, uh, have a little bit more of a consolidation here at this particular level on the E minis and the S&P. Let's take a look at some stocks. Here's Amazon. And if you do recall, probably back here, I really mentioned that we were going to trade in a range sideways, uh, pretty much right here for about six months. And we are basically doing that. It's been about, it's been about four months so far. Probably have a couple of mo couple more months to go, which would bring us back to around their earnings period, which then I'd expect us to slowly start to bounce. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are still just chilling here at the 100 simple. And as you can see last time, we did bounce off this level. So if you are looking at getting into a position on Amazon, it's not a bad location to buy or start, at least start accumulating some sort of position. Uh, but Amazon, for the most part, just going sideways at the moment. Let's take a look at Starbucks. I mentioned this one uh, probably last week or a couple of weeks ago, and I did say that this would be a very nice little dip buying opportunity off the 200. A lot of you people, uh, a lot of you traders are in this long and are continuing to hold. So well done. Some of you are selling covered out of the money covered calls, you know, around 87, 88 for a month or two, and then looking to take some premium as we slowly start to rise. Speaking of really good pullbacks, uh, take a look at Etsy, guys. Uh, we have had a 44, 45% pullback from the all-time highs. And as you can see, we are currently sitting here at a very nice support level from back in mid-2018. So a lot of people who... A lot of people who did buy Etsy back in 2018, if they didn't take their profits, or maybe they did take their profits up here, a lot of those people would be looking to starting to buy at this particular price. You can see we did have a retest gap. We did have a retest gap today or last night, and we are currently retesting, but look at the volume coming in here, guys. We have got a lot of buying pressure coming in. Makes a lot of sense. You can see... We have bounced off this level before, so definitely keep your eyes peeled on some amazing price action and some buying to come in on Etsy. Let's take a look at HLF. Now, HLF is also quite interesting. Now, what I have noticed is uh, a couple of things. So, we are at the 200. I, I, I gather that, and all I just want you to take a tape. I want you to pay close attention to this particular bullish candle, this long lower shadow, and these two sets of volume at $44, at $43.50, $44, and then this bullish candle right here. So we are forming a support level at this particular price. We do have a lot of buying pressure coming in, and I know we are at the two, the, the 200 on the, the daily chart. On the weekly, we are creating a beautiful double bottom and that little cute little retest. So this could be the start of HLF starting to rise. Who knows? Keep it on your watch list. Let's take a look at Urban. I know a lot of people in Urban are expecting it to go 
higher, uh, but after their earnings, really poor earnings, gapping down, and I do expect Urban to probably trade sideways till at least March. So if you are thinking about you know, getting into some long-term call options, I think you could probably wait. You're probably better off selling some out-of-the-money call options just in case it does go higher. Uh, but I really, realistically, I think that Urban will trade sideways for the next three to five months and just more or less just consolidate. There's not a whole lot of fundam strong fundamentals on this particular stock at this current moment. And I don't think anything's gonna change up until the next earnings period. So keep that in mind, guys. Let's take a look at the all odds. Now, if you recall on Tuesday, I said this is a great buying opportunity. All you fine traders out there who took that analysis and I see what you guys have been doing. You guys have been just buying up this market. So well done to you fine people out there. All odds bouncing off the lower band trend line looks juicy. Let's take a look at National Australia Bank, ticker symbol NAB. Now this is also a glorious pullback. Uh, as you can see on the weekly chart, this is a level where we have bounced before. It has been a resistance level in the past, back here in 2012, 2013, and a support once again back in 2016, 2000, and, and you know late 2018 and early 2019. So right now, we are getting some price action coming in. We are getting a little bit of gaps, few gaps, but if you are looking to buy low, sell high, we have had a a, a 15 to 16, oh, almost a 17% pullback. So you're not buying at the all time high. It is a very nice location to start legging into shares. And uh, so if you are looking at buying some NAB shares, here is a good price to start thinking about buying some long-term positions. Let's take a look at the ASX, and we are getting a little bit of sideways action, still at the 200 simple on the daily, and on the weekly chart, we are just still chilling. Lots of long lower shadows, lots of buying pressure coming in here, guys. It's most likely just gonna consolidate sideways for a little bit longer, and then hopefully we do start to break out. Great volume three days ago looks really really juicy uh, wow let's take a look at Woolworths ticker symbol W O W now we did create a new all-time high just last week and as you can see we did have these nice little high tails those two little high tails at the very high there at $40 obviously $40 was a target for a lot of people if you take a look at the 15 minute here you can really see that they struggled to get above that price range there and a lot of people just started to sell. So when we did get a nice gap down, this was a beautiful gap and go. And then obviously this was a retest gap, which we are currently retesting. So if you did get to catch that gap and go, it would have been a beautiful, beautiful day trade. I personally didn't catch it. However, right now we are most likely going to consolidate here for, I'd say about two, two and a half months, two and a half months, probably look for something like this right here. To, to go sideways for a little bit longer. But not a whole lot there happening on Woolworths. Just look to buy the dip and buy low, sell high. Let's take a look at their rivalry, Coles. Also having a, another pullback after reaching another all-time high. And this one, same thing, guys. It is just another pullback in the markets. We have pulled back from the highs, you know, almost close to 10%, 8%, and we probably could go a little bit lower. It would be nice to buy off the 100 simple, buy off the blue line, and uh, if you are looking to start accumulating some sort of position, always look to buy the dip, as I say. And let's take a look at some commodities, US oil or crude oil, up at this resistance level, guys, at 59. Now, we are struggling to get above here. I know we did poke our head above it last night, and we just got rejected. Not a whole lot happening. So I think for the most part, we are going to just trade in a range now with uh, crude. I do think that we will have something like this juncture right here. Just trading between you know 59 and probably 55, 20 is, is most likely going to happen for the next month or so. Who knows? We'll keep an eye on it and just look to buy low, sell high. If you are a futures trader, you would be you would be loving this volatility on crude the last three or four days. So keep on rocking. 
Let's take a look at gold and gold is slowly on a decline. We can see that right here. We are still creating lower highs and we are slowly but surely just going lower. So gold obviously just look to short the highs and if it can get back down to the 200 it will be a nice buying location off this particular support level right here. So bear that in mind. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Right now we are just pennant patterning right here. Beautiful little pennant, nice little bullish, nice little bullish inside day candle. And we'll just kind of see where this one goes from here. I'll just go to the hourly chart. You can see the pennant pattern a lot clearer right now. There you go, there's the, high, the higher lows and here is the lower highs. So we'll see which way this one's gonna break out. We did get a nice little rally at the start of December, which was really, really nice. Uh, but for the most part, guys, just look to trade what you see. I say that all the time, but look for the breakout and retest and then trade in that direction. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another Real Life Stock Review. Have an amazing weekend. If you want me to look at any tickers or stocks or whatever, just put it in the comment section below. I will review those stocks for you next week. You're amazing. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you all then. Bye.